So it also explains why if you compare colonization of infection of F4 enterotoxigenic E. coli and F18 Shia toxin producing E. coli with each other in, uh, in an experimental infection model, that F4, which is binding to a glycoprotein, which is extruding in the lumen, uh, can much easier colonize the mucosa. So you see here very rapidly after infection, very huge numbers of bacteria in the animals and they excrete it in very high amounts. And then this, this colonization rapidly drops. And after six to seven days, normally, if there are no complicating factors, after uh, six to seven days, the infection uh, uh, disappears. And for F18 E. coli, that is not the case. And if you go on a farm and you have a problem with eudema disease, then it's no problem to isolate the bacteria six, seven, sometimes eight, nine weeks after uh, a birth. So three to two, four, five weeks after weaning. It has to do with the fact that this bacteria colonize much slower. So the interaction is more difficult and it has to do with the intimate interaction. They need really to attach to the mucosa and then, uh, uh, so the, in the defense, in the mucus layer on the villi, um, some holes should appear, some, some mucus should disappear, and the bacteria clusters on the, on the villi and spreads over the villi, and that goes slow. And so if you do an experimental infection, it's not a problem to isolate this uh, this bacteria from the infected piglets 11, 12, 13 days after the experimental infection. And uh, the, the disease occurs uh, the second week after uh, experimental infection.